Hi and welcome to the seventh and final video tutorial in my series which will show you how to create an Angry Birds game in Scratch and in our last video we're going to cover finishing the game and there are two ways that the game can finish first of all if the player runs out of birds and they've got none left to fire or if they've managed to kill both get rid of both the pigs in which case they've won so I'm going to put two if blocks and routines into my program to check for both of those circumstances and I'm going to put them after this point here which is where we've reduced the number of birds by one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my control block and what I want to do is put a simple if statement in and I'm pop it in here so just between the two things there so what this will do is it once it's finished doing the checks for key presses and, and things like that, it'll check to see if the game's carrying on. So we need to do a check for score first of all. So I'm gonna I need an operator because I want to see if one value equals another, and I want to check to see if the variable we're looking for score. And we've awarded a hundred points for getting rid of a pig. So if they've got two pigs they've got 200 points so if score is 200 I'm going to do a few things I'm going to play like the end of level sound a victory sound so I'm going to put play sound and I want Angry Birds level and that goes in there okay I don't know why that was doing that um, play Angry Birds level end and then I'm going to put a message onto the screen to say well done so I'm going to say say well done birds win and then at the end of that I want to stop the program because it's game over so I'm going to put stop all just in there so let's just quickly run that and see if that works. So, hey, my bird, one down, and that works. Brilliant. So, we've got the victory in. Now we need to have what happens if they lose. So, underneath this loop, the if loop for score, I'm going to put another loop in, and that's going to go under here. Okay, it need, mustn't go inside the other loop. It needs to go within the main forever loop that we've we put right at the start. Okay, so all this is happening within that main loop of the program. So I'm going to go to another check. So I need to check this time if score is not if birds left. Sorry, is zero. So I'm going to go. And then I put the if block in, so I need to put another operator in. Birds left, and that's going to be this time. I'm going to want to put birds left. I'm going to want to put that straight in there, and that's got to be zero. And then underneath there, I'm just going to put one message. I haven't got a sound effect this time. And I'm going to put Oops, keep starting the game. I don't want to do that. Bad luck. Pigs win. And then I'm going to put a thing to stop. And again, that needs to go inside the loop. So let's stop everything, run the game. Right, and see, let's lose on purpose. And there we go, it's worked. So now you should have a working Angry Birds game. And what you might want to do is see if you can think of some ideas to improve your game now. Perhaps you could add different types of birds, uh, different types of pigs, or even a different type of bird. Or you might find a way of adding another level and putting a bit more challenge into the game. So have fun. I hope you've managed to complete the game successfully. And also importantly, that you've understood the steps that you've gone through in order to complete it. To show your teacher that you've understood what you've done, 
try and produce an annotated version of this listing showing that you've understood what all the different blocks are for. So good luck with your rest of your work in Scratch and I hope you've enjoyed this project.